Hello chess friends, welcome back to our channel AP Chess House. I hope you all are doing fine and improving your chess skills. Most of you know about the French opening. There are very less traps in this opening, but today I have come up with a strong and effective trap. So stay tuned till the end and enjoy the video. So it starts as e4, then e6, and white plays d4, and black is pawned for d5. Here white plays e5 to close the center and black plays c5 directly attacks the pawn chain. Here c3 is the main move but our trap starts as knight to f3. Here most of the french players don't capture the d pawn. Instead they bring their queen out then knight to c6 and put more pressure on the d4 pawn. Earlier in french opening the preferred move was queen to b6 and the line continues as pawn to c3 then knight to c6 putting more pressure on the d4 pawn here white has a good move that is bishop to d3 and if black doesn't know the tactics in this position then white can trick him here if black thinks that he can pin a pawn by c captures d4 c captures d4 and knight captures d4 then we can simply capture the knight on d4 and if black plays queen capture d4 then he loses the queen by bishop to b5 check and it's discover attack to the queen so before moving to the next variation, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really motivates me to bring you the quality content. So nowadays after knight to f3, black generally plays bishop to d7, covering this important square b5 to prevent this deadly check. And now white continues with bishop to d3 and black continues with his favorite line that is knight to c6 and then we can shock him with knight to g5. Here, most of the players think that what is this knight doing here and they will play either f6 or h6 to kick this knight but this is a blunder. Here after move like h6, the white should play queen to h5. Here the h1 can't take the knight because otherwise this rook will be gone and white is also expecting a mate on f7. So black plays g6 and we can simply capture the g6 pawn with bishop. And if f captures g6, then queen captures g6 and fourth move is king to e7 and queen to f7 will be checkmate. And if in this position he doesn't capture the bishop and moves his king to e7, then knight captures f7 and we will pick the rook on h8. The second move to save the checkmate is queen to e7. Here white can play another interesting move that is knight capture f7 and now black will be hard pressed to save his game. If he captures the knight on f7, then we will simply play bishop to g6 and this queen will be gone. So after knight to f7, just look at the position. The king can't castle here. The queen can't move anywhere because all squares are blocked. This bishop is blocked by queen and this pawn. This knight has no square to go and this rook is just sitting idle in the corner. Here after knight to g5, if black plays f6 instead of h6, then also we will play queen to h5 check and if king plays e7 then queen to f7 will be checkmate and if pawn to g6 then we will play bishop cross g6 and if h captures g6 then queen captures g6 check and after king to e7 queen to f7 will be checkmate and if after bishop to g6 he doesn't capture and move his king then we will play knight capture h7 and it will be a good game for white. So it's a nice trap and I have seen players with 1800 plus rating falling for this trap. So it's worth trying it in your games. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button to get more new tricks and traps from our side. Thank you.